hey y'all what's up and welcome back to my channel if you are new make sure you subscribe because this is definitely lit over here okay so y'all today we're gonna be talking about jocelyn's cabaret and we're gonna get straight down to the point because i don't want this video to be too long y'all um so yeah so y'all basically um the show comes on and they give us a recap a rerun of the last three seasons that jocelyn had or whatever i guess because maybe we haven't seen her in such a long time and they took a while putting out jocelyn's cabaret um you know how they've been putting out baddies and bad boys and all these shows even um chris sean and blueface show back to back to back that they took a little minute putting out jocelyn's show so maybe they thought we the people forgot about her i ain't gonna lie d I, I forgot all about jocelyn's cabaret so they gave us a rerun and they um showed us Jocelyn's new video. Now I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Jocelyn looked is so pretty. She always come through. And it looked like Jocelyn done gained a little bit of weight. Like, you know, she got that happy weight look like in her face, like in her cheeks and stuff. She looked cute um with her makeup, her hair. She always come through with the fashions, looking cute or whatever. And I love the way how they did the video with like um you know, um, in New York or whatever like that, match the theme and all that good shit. Anyway, so um Jocelyn and her husband, they're talking or whatever outside on the balcony. And basically, you know, Jocelyn is basically telling him, like, you know, this is what I expect from the girls, y'all. The same shit she tell her husband on all the seasons. What she expect from the girls and she don't want to put up with they, they, they BS. And she want to pick some girls that's willing to do the right thing and willing to, um, you know, take this serious. And basically, she's telling him that she was going to bring back Black Diamond and Raven. And I just shook my head because, y'all, I don't know what Black Diamond and Raven, what Jocelyn seen in them. Like, they could barely dance. To me, like, they don't really know how to do, like, pole tricks and all that good stuff. I just feel like, and then they, they bring so much drama. Like, they, like, last season, they were the most dramatic, problematic people that was on the show besides Amber and besides, who else? Yeah, besides Amber and, um, that big tall girl that had the bald head. To be honest, like, they don't really bring nothing to me, but I mean, to each his own. So, basically, Jocelyn's telling him that she wants to bring them along. So, when she do her opening in New York um, at the club, she wants them to perform with her and stuff. And basically saying, like, she had to go to a Mayweather fight and she's going to do a one-night only auditions. Now, I love the fact that Jocelyn wants to give the girls an opportunity to audition in front of her because I feel like... It's better to actually audition in front of somebody instead of sending in a tape or having other people pick. Because when you're in front of that person, you can really, like, go hard and give them, like, your all. So, I felt like that was great that Jocelyn actually put that together for them to come out and actually audition in front of um her or whatever like that. So, skip past all that. um All that. So, um, uh, Raven and Black Diamond was supposed to be meeting Jocelyn. Um... On the PJ, Jocelyn had them, you know, coming out because she wanted them to perform with her or whatever. So, Jocelyn had them meeting her um, at, I guess, the airport so they can get on the PJ or whatever like that. Now, on the way there, Raven and Diamond is in the car talking about, you know, the experiments that, that they had with Jocelyn and how they had a good time and how they can't believe that they're back and they're excited. And basically, like, um, you know diamond brings up the fact that raven has just got out, out of jail saying that she got four murder of uh, not murder charges but four felony charges and i'm like girl what 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 see that's what i be saying problematic right there like come to find out she saying that the boyfriend and whoever was in the house with the boyfriend while she was over there trying to get her stuff out the house lied on her and she ended up going to jail and getting four felony charges so girl like we want to know like what really have you done because baby how you end up with four felony charges boo like what girl, i don't know so um jocelyn and them all get on the pj we gonna fast forward jocelyn and all them get on the pj or whatever so you know they bring jocelyn some flowers 
or whatever. And she, Jocelyn tells her man, like, you know, I want to talk to them or whatever. Raven and Diamond comes over, talk to Jocelyn, give her the flowers and everything. And Jocelyn is like, fuck that. Like, I deserve something better. Like, y'all should have bought me some diamonds or this and that for what y'all put me through. Like, y'all put me through a lot. Y'all did this and this. And y'all did not. Y'all. I don't know why these girls be so scared of Jocelyn. Like, they was like, I'm so scared to, to tell Jocelyn how, like, what I did. Like, Jocelyn is going to, what's she going to beat y'all? Like, what's she y'all mother? What is she God? What, does she bleed pink um or something? Like, I mean, what? She breathe the same air y'all breathe. She, like, these girls be coming on this show and be so damn scared of Jocelyn. And I ain't going to lie, the only person that really stood up to Jocelyn, and I'm going to be real, was Amber. She was not scared of Jocelyn. Amber was not scared of Jocelyn. Big Lex was not scared of Jocelyn. Like, they popped they, you know what I'm saying, back to Jocelyn and whatever. Like, and I think that tall girl, I don't think she was scared of Jocelyn. I think her and Jocelyn got into it as well. But, y'all, they was not scared of Jocelyn. And I respect that because, like, um, that girl Chanel and what that the other girl named Lexi or Le I forgot her name y'all but she was on last season too with them Chanel Chanel was so scary like she was so scared of Jocelyn and that shit is just crazy to me like these girls be so scared so Raven she on a PJ telling um you know basically saying like she she's scared to show up with Jocelyn because you know Jocelyn might get mad and might do this and that like y'all I don't know what all that's about so they come over there and talk to Jocelyn and Jocelyn, you know, pull out her feet. She like, y'all bitches deserve to massage my feet, lick my feet and all this. Now, I don't know why they had to put that clip in that part because Jocelyn's feet just look terrible. And I just feel like Jocelyn, Jocelyn, Jocelyn. I understand Jocelyn with heels and she a busy um. You know, business woman, she do a lot of walking and a lot of, a lot, she, she, she be on her feet a lot. But Jocelyn, it's a point, it comes, you have too much money to you, for your feet to be looking like that. Too much money, baby. If you need to go get your feet done, you need to go get something done with all them corns. Like, it just doesn't make no sense. Like, girl, how your man feel comfortable sleeping in the bed with you with your feet like that? I wouldn't even want to walk around nowhere with my feet looking like that. Like, that shit looked terrible. And it was just crazy to me how, like, they was rubbing all on Jocelyn's feet. And, like, they was back to lick her toes. Like, y'all, it is never that serious for no fame and clout when Jocelyn is back to scrape fire y'all ass like they would do anything just to be like oh my god just as long as they got that that is, is as long as they're in with somebody they would do anything these females would do anything to where they worship the ground that Jocelyn walk on and it's ridiculous to me like I understand she put y'all on and all of this shit but I feel like it's ridiculous I'm not finna have my mouth close to somebody's feet it's never that serious like never okay so basically jocelyn tells raven like you know you said you was never going back to that dude but you ended up with four felony charges and you know like you you need you need to get yourself together and then come to find out diamond done hit the goddamn girl that's on the electric scooter like girl with her car like girl what is y'all doing like what i need to figure out do they got that story out somewhere because i ain't never even heard of that I ain't heard about that girl doing that like that. And that's crazy because, like, Raven was, like, in the confession, was like, what is really going on? Like, she didn't even know her own friend hit somebody on the scooter. Like, girl, what? They got a lot of shit going on. Anyway, so um, they, they arrive or whatever, and Jocelyn arrives at the hotel, I guess. And I see Jocelyn's daughter. She looks so much like Stevie J, y'all. I swear. And she looks so much like Mimi's daughter. Like, I could have sworn that that was Mimi's daughter. And I was like, look, I forgot Jocelyn even had a baby. Because I was thinking, like, what the hell is Mimi's daughter doing with Jocelyn? But I forgot, y'all, that she had a baby. I think the baby named Bella or Bella, Bell or something like that. But, y'all, I forgot. But Jocelyn's daughter done got so, much, so big and stuff like that. And she's cute or whatever. She looked just like um, Stevie J. They skipped to the part where Diamond and Raven get on the Sprinter. I guess they're supposed to be going to the show where Jocelyn was um, supposed to be performing at tonight. Where they were supposed to be performing with Jocelyn. And goddamn Melissa done called and done told them 
y'all don't need to worry about coming because y'all fired jocelyn don't wants to perform with y'all and they're just completely upset because they feel like damn they said and got their hair done they done said and got their makeup done and all of that and i just feel like if jocelyn knew but see the thing is though i don't think jocelyn was going to treat them like that because i don't think jocelyn would have brought them all the way from where they was to where she's at you know what i'm saying on the pj and all of that if she was going to fire them I don't think she was going to do all that just to, just to humiliate them. I don't think Jocelyn was going to do that. But see, the thing is, they sent Jocelyn a text saying that some girls was talking about Jocelyn. So maybe Jocelyn got mad because I'm trying to understand like, okay, did Jocelyn get mad because you know how some people don't want negative energy and all that stuff around them. So they feel like, okay, like, I don't like that. Like, you keep, you know what I'm saying? Like, e even though if we friends, I don't want to hear nothing bad about what nobody got to say about me. Like, if somebody got something bad to say about me, don't say it at all. Or was Jocelyn mad? Like, okay, you showed me this, but did y'all defend me? So, I'm just trying to understand, like, why Jocelyn got mad. Did they not defend Jocelyn? Like, did Jocelyn not even want, like, I'm just trying to understand, like, why Jocelyn took upon herself to fire them. Because I feel like if you my friend and, you know, we finna perform on stage and all this stuff and somebody's talking about me to you or whatever the case is, I'm going to most definitely send it to you and let you know, like, girl, but at the end of the day, I'm still gonna be like, look, bitch, don't talk about my friend I, or whatever, whatever. I'm gonna defend. But those girls have defended Jocelyn in the past. So, maybe Jocelyn was was just trying to humiliate them because i don't i don't understand why jocelyn would take them all the way from where they were to bring them all the way with her to new york to perform and now she just canceled at the last minute so basically um they was pissed off in the sprinter about that they feel like whatever they say to jocelyn regardless if they're trying to be real with her she get mad if they don't say nothing she get mad they don't there is no winning with her so that's how they felt about jocelyn so basically, um, Jocelyn's sitting there getting her makeup done or whatever, and Melissa comes in. Now, y'all, when did Jocelyn, Melissa, 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 when did, I know Jocelyn and Melissa was cool on Love and Hip Hop, but I'm just trying to figure out, like, I thought Melissa and Mimi was friends. When did Jocelyn and Melissa became friends? Like, I thought Melissa and... I really thought Melissa and Mimi was like real close. Now, nah, okay, I don't know, y'all. Child, I'm trying to figure out what's really going on with Melissa. Is she just, because it seems like to me, Jocelyn said something about that's her manager or whatever, like that, girl. Okay, um, when did Melissa start managing the shit? But well, I mean, hey, she's getting it done. So, I mean, I guess. But uh, she's basically telling, you know, um, Jocelyn, like, look, this is the rundown for the night or whatever, whatever. We got four poles. We got this. We got that. Um, Jocelyn, she's basically telling Melissa, like, look, I don't want Diamond or I don't want Raven around me. Them bitches don't need to be on the stage. I don't want them on the stage. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, girl, you can't be that mad over no text message. Like, why would you have them girls come all the way there just to send them back? Like, that right there pissed me off. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. So Jocelyn gets there to her uh, performance. She performed um, most of her songs. I want to ride. I want to ride. And she performed her new song. She opened up with her new song. And I think she performed another one. Um, Birthday or some whatever that shit that song called. But anyway, um, yeah, she performed that. Now at the end of her performance, she gets very emotional and start crying because she was saying how like she didn't have to take a drug, she didn't have to do any cocaine, she didn't have to do anything. And I'm just thinking like, whoa, like, whoa. I didn't even know she was on all those drugs. Like I thought she was just on coke, you know, smoke a Louise, whatever. But she started naming all type of stuff that she was like, um, I didn't have to take this, I didn't have to take that, I didn't have to take this or this just to do my performance tonight and i am just so you know i just feel like jocelyn needs to stay like that because when she's on all that shit you can tell because jocelyn eyes start being turning red and she just start going in rage and want to fight and hit people and do the most and i just really feel like you know maybe that was just a moment for her and and she feel like that and she feel like that so after that she do her little meet and greet or whatever whatever and so the next day y'all she's getting her makeup done and that's the day of the um the one night auditions so she do the one night only auditions and um 
Y'all, I don't really know how to feel about this one night audition thing. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I am happy that they are doing the auditions and letting the girls get a chance to do it in front of them. But I don't know how I feel about all these returning girls. Like, yummy. I can understand Raven and Diamond because they were traveling with her and stuff like that. And, I mean, they, they did it with Chanel and the other girl last season. You know, they had a chance to come back. So, I can understand Diamond and Raven coming back or trying to have a chance. But I'm trying to understand what is Yummy coming back for Lucky. I'm trying to understand what is Lucky doing there because last time I seen Lucky was on Out as TV. So, what is she doing back on it with Zeus? And I think that's why Jocelyn called her a traitor. Because, girl, what are you doing back on the Zeus network? And you went over there to across the street okay so she came back to get her chance yummy y'all yummy just seemed yummy is not an ugly girl she really not she just gotta get her appearance together like she's too young to be wearing those big wigs like she look like an auntie like i don't know why yummy be wearing those wigs like she just it just doesn't fit it's like she got a small body and she got that big wig on that just make her hair look so fucking huge like it's just ridiculous, and I ain't gonna lie, I've I, I been paying attention to that. Jocelyn should have told her something about that when she was on last season, about them with them wigs. The wigs, they're not it. Um, matter of fact, I don't think she was on last season, the season before, because she was. I think she was on season two. Um, but yeah, y'all, that the, the wigs, they're not it for me. Now, y'all, I love natural, like Miss Natural, I love her. I love that shortcut on her. She just looks look so pretty with her goals in her mouth, and you know, she just got, gained weight. She looked chunky. Like, she looked so good. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. I love her with that shortcut. She came out stunting. And I feel like she is a very great dancer. She can dance. She know how to do the pole tricks. I'm talking about she danced, like, very sexy. And, like, still, like, you know, she... I just love the way she danced. Um, Daisy pull up, y'all. I don't even know... Who Daisy is, um, I, I know she was on season one, I think she said, but I didn't watch season one. I don't think I watched season one. Or if I did, I don't remember her. But she pulled up saying that, you know, she ready to show just what she got now. She back and she gonna do her big one. Y'all, why did Miss Wet Wet come? <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie, Miss Wet Wet is so good for entertainment. I will watch her. She's funny. But she just looks so dirty to me, like she just looks so dirty to me like she just looks so like like two dollar like stripper to me like with the breasts out and then with the cover up things and like the way she dresses and it's just giving like working at a hood strip club like you know what i'm saying like and y'all she just seemed like she worked at a hood strip club in her hometown or something like she's just giving very very much you know 50 i think she was probably she probably would have you know what miss miss wet wet probably would have been a better fit over there on jessica's show um on now that's tv um the mint i think miss wet wet probably would have been better over there instead of over here on the cabaret <laughs> because it's not given um a lot of these girls a lot of them even yummy yummy probably would have did she probably would have did better over there too so jocelyn pulls up at the club and the girls are so excited jocelyn come in she might have been on you know her her thug fizzled in because she started going wow like y'all shut up shut up she told some girls to shut up they wouldn't shut the hell up she, they, she told them to get on out get on out leave y'all y'all gotta go so um basically you know um lucky came lucky was uh, um there talking mess and jocelyn's like girl you're a traitor or whatever whatever and basically Justin's telling all the girls that was previously on the seasons to come to the stage i think it was like five of them to come to the stage but Di um diamond and um raven could not perform they couldn't try out they had to sit to the side and that right there just pissed them off because they feel like okay i understand you didn't want us to put per to perform with you last night but now that we're here and at the auditions and you don't even want us to audition like you're really like doing this and i feel like now jocelyn is really humili humiliating them because now at this point it's like jocelyn 
you could have really just told them like listen don't even worry about coming you know it was nice working with y'all but i'm not gonna be able i'm not gonna work with y'all anymore we're gonna get a new girls a chance or whatever like even if it was all over the text thing but jocelyn really had to bring them there to try to humiliate them and make them feel messed up like that is humiliating like these girls were traveling with you they was you know in the cabaret with you and stuff like that and now that they're time is up or you feel like it's some new girls coming along you want to like do them like that even if you don't want to use them anymore you can still tell them like look it's over it's done instead of having them come to this event that event this event thinking that they're going to be performing and and auditioning and all this stuff and then they're not doing it like that would piss me off as well so um jocelyn basically saying like how raven and and um diamond had that energy so that she want them to sit to the side she don't want them around she want them to sit far farther in the back like the girls start dancing or whatever and miss natural looks so good y'all she can dance to me i love her yummy looks a freaking hot mess um lucky she can dance i, I seen her dance on the jocelyn's cabaret before um i just feel like I don't really know. I don't really too much got nothing bad to say about Lucky. Um, she did get mad at Miss Natural though because she was trying to do the little pose. She was trying to do the little two girl thing, and she was like, "Girl, please go about your business. Like you're messing me up. You're messing up my audition or whatever I'm trying to do." So y'all yeah, basically, Raven, um, you know, got upset or whatever that Jocelyn did not let them perform, did not let them try out. So um, she starts screaming and she's like, "You know what? I'm getting up out of here." Or whatever whatever zeus security comes up to jocelyn and let her know that raven is causing all type of confusion in the back i don't know why zeus did that y'all should just let that girl go about her business because y'all know how jocelyn is okay jocelyn gotta put her hands on somebody i don't know why for what it don't be that serious so jocelyn goes out there to go talk to raven and diamond i understand diamond I don't even know where Diamond was, but maybe Diamond just wanted to try to see if she can get her opportunity back in the cabaret. So she stayed and um, didn't follow her friend. But I felt like, girl, I would have been the hell up out of there too. Like, girl, I'm not staying here. Deuces. I would have been gone because, first of all, I came all the way down here. You already humiliated me. You had me sit in the corner while these girls perform. And you not back to do me like that. Girl, it ain't even that serious. Jocelyn, cabaret is not that serious for me to you know what i'm saying be treated like that so jocelyn follow raven outside y'all raven jocelyn's asking her like what's going on like you know this and that jocelyn started yelling and she was like you know somebody in my family died and i came here and jocelyn was like but you lied or you didn't tell me or whatever jocelyn was saying next thing y'all know y'all jocelyn done took her hand and put it around that girl neck and choked her and threw her to the ground and I'm just trying to understand why Jocelyn felt like she could do that. Like, Jocelyn is a fucking bully. She's a bully. And that's what she did to Big Lex. Even though Big Lex talked a lot of shit. But I don't think Raven didn't even say too much. And she really put her hand. But see, she feel like she... Jocelyn tried to fight people that she knows she can beat up. Like, I ain't gonna say Jocelyn is scary, but... Jocelyn really do. She really... She fight people who she knows she can punk out. Like, she know that them girls really wanted to be in a job. Like, first of all, if you can put your foot up to somebody and tell them to suck your toes and lick your feet and y'all need to massage my feet and they're rubbing your leg, girl, you know that they're scared of you. Because ain't no because first of all, ain't nobody going to do that to nobody who they feel like they can they they can intimidate i i'm not finna come up to somebody who i feel like can boot my ass and tell them to suck my feet or lick my toes like for real jocelyn she be bullying people and doing too much and i feel like jocelyn gonna meet her match and she gonna keep going on with these seasons and one of these girls gonna whoop her i'm trying to tell you they gonna whoop her because jocelyn keep putting her hands on these on these girls slapping these girls doing all type of shit saying they gonna she gonna whoop them at all and i'm telling you it ain't gonna be pretty but Jocelyn really ain't had to put her hands on that girl like that. Like, come on, Jocelyn. But we're going to see what next uh, episode. We're going to see if Diamond come out and help her friend, Raven. We're going to see. But, y'all, let me know who y'all think Jocelyn going to keep. Do y'all think she going to keep Lucky? Y'all think she going to keep Natural? Yummy need to go. Miss Wet Wet need to go. Like, oh, my God. They could have brought Amber back. 
I'd rather, I'd rather see Amber aggravating loud talking all day, complaining all day than Miss Wet Wet. Like, come on, man. But y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think about Jocelyn's cabaret. And y'all make sure y'all give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my um channel for more videos. But thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.